ZBrush only lets you sculpt on one subtool at a time. So if you want to adjust a character's body, you might think that you would have to manually adjust the clothing afterwards to fit the body adjustment. However, with Transpose Master, we can adjust everything together at the same time. Let's take a look closer. So we have this uh, model over here of this uh, soldier, and you can see that it is basically divided into different subtools. For example, if I want to add some mus uh, muscles over here, musculature over here, and if I will turn my brush a little bit up for uh, like you know bigger and symmetry by pressing X. So uh, if I will do here, add some muscles here, okay, and some muscles here as well. But what it will do here is that it will pull out my uh, like you know, like my sh uh, like my body but it's not affecting the shirt so this is actually i don't want but now what i have to do is that i have to go to my shirt and then i have to you know uh, work the same thing on my shirt here okay to bring it back okay and then maybe i have to go to the vest and also work on the vest to do that so it's a quite a long way of doing this. Let me undo the everything what I did so far. Okay, so this is what actually, uh, you know, it will, you have to do manually because everything you cannot do at the same time. And Transmos Master will help you with this. So what we will do is here is that to make this work, let's go into the Z plugin. Okay, and inside the Z plugin, we have a transpose master, and we will go to the transpose master here, and we have here a tool which is called T pose mesh tool. So this is going to take all of those sub tools and put them together in a temporary tool. So let's click over here, and you can see that it's calculating all of them, and it had made a new sub tool over here. It says the transpose is complete. Now I'm here in the new sub tool. Okay. So this is my T pose, and this is the original one, and this is the T pose. Now, if I will go to the T pose here, okay, which is the transpose uh, tool pose over here, okay, and you can see that now I'm easily able to do some changes. Oops. Let me press X over here so I can uh, work with my uh, symmetry, and you can see that. I'm applying on the effect on the whole body itself. So whatever changes I want to do right now here, I can easily do on it. Okay. Suppose I want to make this bag bigger and at the same time I want the body to be affected as well. Okay. So maybe I want him more buffy. Okay. So I can do that as well here and once you think you are done with uh, this whole thing what later on you can do is that we can just go back to the Z plugin and once we are here we have here a T pose sub T okay so what it will do is basically it will transfer all of this stuff what we did here in transpose master mode and put that back on the sub tool. So if I will click it, it's putting it back. And now you can see everything here is the uh, is changed because I changed it. I made him like buffy. And then you can see uh, if I will go to my uh, solo mode here by pressing shift and I. So you can see the, uh, you know, the vest is changed, the shirt is changed, the vest is changed, the backpack is changed, and everything else is changed the way I, you know, we, we did it all together. So I use the transpose uh, master tool all the time. And for example, if I want to scale everything, I can go to the uh, transpose tool at scale everything and then come back with, and I will have the whole thing. 
this I was uh, using this method. I used to do this before, but now as we have uh, the scaling option, if I will go here, okay, and if I will scale it, you can see it is scaling one at a time. But if I will click over here and then scale, it will scale the whole thing. For the scaling and moving, I actually don't use the transpose tool like, like rotation, but I usually use it for uh, sculpturing and those uh, like you know like those kind of uh, details with uh, when I'm doing the sculpturing and other things. So as you know, uh, we have now the gizmo. We don't need to go into the transpose mode for that anymore. But transport mode uh, is still very useful if you want to do things like organic sculpting or just moving a piece here or there. So I hope you guys have learned, uh, you know, something about the transpose master tool over here. And I hope you will start using this tool in your future projects. So if you have liked my video, please click on the like button. And if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comment section. And please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to it yet. And please uh, feel free to share it with your friends my video so I can get more subs uh, subscribers. And it will motivate me to create more content. And I will be creating more and more content in the future. But all I need is your support. So thank you everyone for following me, for watching my videos. So till next class, take care of yourself. Bye everyone.